Yes, welcome. Today we will pass the presentation on the subject called Engineering Graphics, applicable for B B Tech students of first year. Right. Please go through the question. Draw the perspective projection of a square prism of base side 25 mm and height 40 mm rest on ground plane with a rectangular face turned away from PP. PP means picture plane and makes 60 degree with PP. The corner nearest to PP is 25 mm to the right of the station point and 30 mm behind the PP. The station point is located 70 mm in front of PP and 50 mm above the ground plane. So we're going to consider the three planes on this uh, video. One first one is called PP. PP stands for picture plane. This is that the picture plane uh, seen or uh, shown as a plain glass, I mean transparent. The transparent uh, like a plain glass. Okay. When an object is placed behind the PP, behind the pin purama or object in a prism, square prism which you can understand. this is a front view direction. In the direction of the object uh, is visible to the observer. Okay. So all these planes, PP, CP, GP are considered transparent. Next plane to be discussed is about the GP. GP stands for ground plane. Ground plane. This yellow surface is shown at here. This yellow surface is the ground plane. Solo. It's a horizontal one. And it is extended. Extend it. Back side of the PP. Back side of this picture plane. Extend it. So this is called as ground plane. Shortly called as GP. And one more plane is called the CP. Called, stands for central plane. So all these planes are assumed as a transparent like a plane glass. CP stands for central plane. Okay, right. So what is a given object? The given object is about a square prism. So a square prism What is the size of the square prism? Of base side 25 mm. 25 mm means 2.5 cm and height 40 mm. 40 mm is the vertical height of the prism. So look on to this object called the prism. So square prism. Look on to the base. The base is of a square shape. Okay? Top surface are having a square shape marked as A, B, C, D. Understand? The base corners are marked as 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. So square shape the base and the top surface is that the particular object is called as a prism, square prism. And this red color comes in the edges. It's called as vertical edges or longer edges. Vertical that is called as vertical edges, shown red in color. And these are called as a tri rectangular faces, uh, marked as a A, B, 2, 1. It's one of the rectangular face. Rectangular shape is the front portion like this. So it is called as a rectangular face, F, A, C, E, face. A, B, 2, 1. And the next vertical face are the rectangular faces, B, C, 3, 2. Next rectangular face is C, D, 4, 3, D, A, 1, 4. Okay, these are called as vertical face or a rectangular face. So, no. so in the younger rest, you should have the object. Uh, what is the given object? When the rest, you should have the rest. Ground plane is the rest. Okay, ground plane is the front portion. In front is so no. the glass community will have portion portion in front. Back side will have portion portion behind is so no. behind. Is behind the in front line the object, the square prism rest. You can't pop. No, so read the question. And it's 30 mm behind the PP. Behind the word. Behind it, the pin purama, the object is assumed to be placed. Okay, pin purama. That is the back side of this picture plane or this plane glass. Okay. So the back side which you get the object called as uh, square prism. If the condition is a gap, you have to follow that. So this is behind, behind the picture plane. Okay, right. So size of the prism is given as uh, 25 mm and height 40 mm. The material height of the prism is considered as uh, 40 mm. Understand? And the rest of ground plane. So ground plane is which you get this yellow surface is called as ground plane. With a rectangular face. Rectangular face is turned from PP and makes 60 degree. So 60 degree into the angle of inclination of this rectangular face. 60 degree with PP. If you the object is a rectangular face, I consider a rectangular face AB21. If you the object parallel to the plane, parallel means equal distance from the picture plane. Back side, plane the surface is parallel. The PP is parallel, equal distance. I can say this is parallel to the picture plane or a uniform gap. Then all corners AB21. 
to one or a uniform distance uh, back side of this pitcher plane in the parallel so do in the rectangular phase a b to one but in the one of the rectangular phase rectangular phase with the rectangular phase turned away from pp makes a 60 degree with pp so it only the object of the turn pora pora to an angle of 60 degree right side avan thirupla left side avan thirupla now the right side the thirupra mari assume panni pora so if you want to angle tilt pandra thirupra the rectangular phase a b to one avan to an angle of 60 degree Understand? So in the self, in the position, in the angle of the plane A B to one is inclined at 60 degree. In the angle of inclination, the 60 degree. The top end of the plane, the angle is 60 degree. Understand? In the angle, the called rectangular face inclined at 60 degree to P P. It is an object called the square prism. Uh, further, you read the question. What is given? The corner nearest to the P P. Corner nearest to the P P. Now A is one of the corner. And the base corner is one point one is the nearest corner to the PP. PP is the corner of the A and 1. It's 25 mm to the right of the station point. So and 30 mm behind the PP. The nearest corner of this one is 30 mm behind the PP. 30 mm now. Some gap is maintained between the PP co point A co. A is one of the nearest corner to the picture plane. In the gap, you have a gap of 30 mm so you come this is a gap between the corner A, nearest corner is A and the PP. Okay. Next is uh, the corner nearest to the PP is 25 mm to the right of the station point. This is in the sentence of the meaning. Eh? Further, you read what is given. The station point is located 70 mm in front of PP and 50 mm above the ground plane. You will be Okay. So, first, we have to draw the top view at first. So top you looking from the top. So man of the nature, you the turn on a square theorem marked as A B C D. 60 degree inclined arc. One of the rectangular phase A B to 1. So first you draw a reference line. For this last or point to mark under marked as A. In the A that in the corner A were present under the top in a path under the the turn on a square theorem. The print under the where the one under the path. This is a rough diagram drawn on the side of your drawing sheet. Okay. So in the we are using protected draw in a 60 degree inclined line. In the angle is 60 degree. Okay. Square would be a top surface. Uh, I would say it was a 2.5 mm. That is 25 mm, 2.5 centimeter. In terms of centimeter, it is 2.5. In the two point five q or a mark in the In the point the B in a letter could grow B. This point. Remaining length is erase panilla. And construct a turn on a square construct point. It's called a top surface. Okay. On the square, the in the inclined on a object will be a top surface. That is called a top view. This particular view is called a top view. Understand? So now the remaining corners, uh, this is corner called C, is it D? In the corner, the in the D corner. Understand? So if A would emerge from point top number of first A there you go. A could back bottom bottom corner emerge corner is one. So A could emerge corner is one. Put in bracket. B could be two. C could be three. D could be four. Understand? This is the top view. The nearest corner is thirty mm behind the PP. Put the question like thirty mm behind the PP. Put in for a more distance. This is horizontal distance is thirty mm. So man, what is the thirty mm gap? Tell me, my friend. Between corner A and this PP. PP is a line. I have a single line. Then there is a gap in the horizontal line. This line is called PP. Called as picture plate. Seen in the top view as a single line. This is the gap. Nearest corner is A. Is 30 mm behind the PP. The 30 mm distance is marked. It's a rough diagram. Draw on the side of your drawing sheet. Okay. Next day. Now, front view is Front view is somewhere below you of this top view. In the key of the your horizontal line drop on again. Somewhere below you are a top view. Given some distance. In the line now is called a ground plane. This yellow surface. Sir, ground plane is wrong. Ground plane, bottom line is called ground plane line. The ground plane is the object the square prism rest here. Okay. If a friend you are a current, this is the direction of the observer. In the direction of the height, the object, the square prism, the height, the height of the 40 mm. So, this 
So use projection line. From A you draw vertical projection R. Next to from point B. Next to from point C. Next at D. Front view is height. Height is 40 mm. The rest on GP, that is rest on ground plane, with the 40 mm is the height of the prism. 40 mm is the vertical height. In the height with the front view, the national power of So, in your 40 mm height, you can draw the front view. 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 The top corner is the extreme right side corner. That corner is marked as B. And the B is the front view. Let us with the dash. A dash. Center line is the this is A over the projection line. On the line, in the line, it is marked as A dash. And the extreme left corner is D. So D dash. Okay. And the base corner is marked as A corresponding is 1 dash. This is 2 dash. This is 3 dash. This corner is marked as 4 dash. Okay. See, there is a back side corner, C point, in the direction of power, C point, there is a C3 is not seen in the front view, but it is available now. Otherwise, it is indicated by dash line. Dash, D-A-S-H-E-D, dash line. So, it is shown by dash line like this. That is 3 and C, C dash and 3. This view is called the front view. Front view is drawn above the ground plane, GP. Okay. So next we are going to construct or uh, to locate the station point. Station point is a particular point. It is also called as I point. Is one on the point is the part of the object. Uh, uh, square prism, how it appears. Other uh, the diagram where is the draw its position called uh, perspective position. Where it goes. But here the station point. What is it? The corner nearest to PP is 25 mm to the right of the station point. The corner nearest to PP is it? TPK kitta ulla corner is A is the corner. D, B is the thalli irukkudu. Back side ila irukkudu. C is the extreme left corner. Sorry, what is called C is the extreme away corner. Thalli irukkudu. Away from picture plane. C is the thalli irukkudu. Okay. A is the nearest corner to the PP. PP or the picture plane. Okay. The station point is located. The nearest corner to PP is 25 mm to the right of the station point. Station point is considered this yellow spherical as a station point. Okay, the station point over distance is 25 mm. So question you have to understand properly. In the right side and left side of the object, I'm talking about. Consider this is as a station point. Spherical is shown at here is a station point, and this is called the CP. CP is a central plane. The central plane when the equation is there, perpendicular to the PP. The angle is 90 degree. Okay, you should have this angle CP. CP is on the right of the object. Or left of the object will go. Okay. See, for CP, what is the point? Center, what is called a station point? The central plane will go. The central plane will go. Station point is located. This one is the right side of the object will go. Or left side of the object will go. But question will go. The nearest corner to the PP. A is the nearest corner to the PP. Is 25 mm to the right of the PP. Station point, right side of the station point, but left will locate the center plane. Left will be the right side, this is the left side, then the side will locate the station point. And the eye point is located. If you locate the station point, what do you mean? The station point is the right side of the station point, right side of the corner, nearest corner is A is obtained. Understand? So, the station point is the left side of the station point. Okay, left side will locate the station point. Okay, left side will locate the station point, meaning you have to go. The nearest corner is the nearest corner is the right side of the station point. Nearest corner to PP is 25 mm to the right of the station point. The surface called as center plane is located to the left side of the object. Left will locate the point. This is the point. This is the point. The right side is the nearest corner. The gap is 25 mm. The corner A is the station point. The station point is located to the point. The gap is 25 mm. So, the left side is the station point. Okay, and how much distance will go? The horizontal, the vertical distance will go. In front of PP, in front of the distance. In the distance, how much distance will go? This is in front of PP, this is above the GP. Okay, so above the GP, what is the distance? For there, you read the question. The station point is located 70 mm above the GP. 
उसे <laughs> Okay, in the distance 25 mm, in the the central plane is located. Other one would be point that is called I point, or the station point is located on the central plane. Okay, in central plane, that is PP is perpendicular to it. It's perpendicular to the object. Okay, understand? So in the point of location, the power bro, we are splitting one for the top view. Top view or station point, or front view or station point, or split one bro. But in reality, in actual practice, one station point is there. In the point when the object, the three D object, you can see how it appears. How it appears. In the three D diagram, we have the card perspective projection. Okay. So, if the central plane is located, what happens? You have to have twenty five mm to the left of the point A. Left is located. What happens? So, you can consider this is a CP line. CP is perpendicular to the PP. I have told you that. In the gap, what is twenty five mm? Left side of point A, in the point A vertical line, the tracer point. Inga the twenty-five mm left side la. Inga or line drop on it. It's a vertical line called as a CP central plane. Understand? The rose color comes in the central plane. Okay. In the in the wall, in front of PP, what is the distance? In front of PP, what is the fifty mm? The horizontal distance is fifty mm. In the point where the man of battle is doing the turn and square there. Yo, at the PP, what is the single line? There. Yo, after in the gap, what is the In front of PP, what is the distance? Seventy mm in front of PP. Top, man, I'm talking about the distance there. Seventy mm in front of PP. Okay. So for PP, then there is a picture plane line. In the end, there is seventy mm. Go or arsen line drop on there. In the gap, there is seventy mm. See in the top view. In the seventy mm line, oh, CP is where the intersect is. In the point, the mark this uh, station point for the top view. Mark this, yes. For the top view, if the top view fully complete, then we'll go. Next, we go for the front view station point. Okay, we are splitting the station point one for the top view, another one for the front view. So, 50 mm above the GP, the station point is located as per the question. The front view power point is the direction of the front view. Power point the height of the object there is, and this vertical height is there is 50 mm. Here we have GP ground plane with the 50 mm height there is. GP here we have here we have GP line. Here is the 50 mm height again. Your horizontal line drop on there. Understand? In the distance of the fifty mm above the GP. In the fifty mm height line, now CP is going to intersect at the other station point for the front view. Is marked as yes dash. Okay. For all the all the distance all the distance have been marked. Improved this effect. Rectangular face AB two one is inclined at sixty degree. AB two one is inclined at sixty degree to the PP. The nearest corner is thirty mm behind the PP. Mark nature. And CP is minimally uh, in front of CP, in front of PP. Seventy mm in front of uh, PP. Let us say station point S is located for the top view. Next, fifty mm above the GP, the horizontal line and the CP intersects at here. It's marked as yes dash for the. It's called as station point for the front view. Okay. Next is the uh, very poor final projection is called perspective projection very poor using the draft scale. So let me erase the question part. So this diagram is called a rough diagram. Draw on side of a drawing sheet. Next we go for the flat diagram. Before that, let me erase this question part. Okay. Let's scale and draw an horizontal line. You let us your point about the line. This point is to be marked as A. It's one of the corner called A. It's the merged corner with the B. What is called as A? Merged point is one. Put in bracket. Okay. Using a prototype, draw on 60 degree inclined line. In the prototype base line, there is or a black color line comes there. And the vertical line there is. Then the intersect at point the is coincident with the point A, which is a mark an angle of 60 degree. Read like this: 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Read like this. Okay. So join the mark the points using free hand scale. Okay. So base. Prism would be a side of the other one. Pardon. Refer the question 25 mm. 25 mm is 2.5 cm in terms of centimeter. Mark the distance of 
25 mm that is a 2.5 cm okay this point is marked as b your major point is 2 put in bracket next you take your draft scale release your draft scale keep it on the line ab Long scale with the AD line, man, which is rotate the 19 clockwise uh, scale will be positioned like this. Okay, using another scale with the same setting, using another scale, draw a yeah, line perpendicular to AB using the another scale, shorter scale. Next, using draw long scale, complete the square. So, these other corners are marked as AB in the corner of the C. Back into merger point is 3. Next, this is the last corner called D. Merger point with the D is 4. Okay. Next, using 2 H pencil, uh, draw project as. So, before that, they reset your draft scale. Release an anti anti clock, rotate an anti anti clock scale, release it. In the first drop of the reference line, we have a scale which is rotate an anti clockwise. The scale will be the one question I know. Draw vertical project R using 2 H pencil. Uh, from point A. Next step to point B, draw a vertical project R. Next step from point C, draw a vertical project R using 2H pencil. It's a lighter light. Somewhere below you are drawing a law, draw this GP line, it's a horizontal line, draw it here, it's called as GP, GP stands for ground plane, this is G GP, called as a ground plane, so ground plane means the front view object, uh, front view is lights, okay, what an height of, uh, for, what is height of the object given is uh, 40 mm, this is the height called as height of the prism vertical height of the object the prism is given as a 40 mm the 40 mm in general, that is a 4 cm in the front view drop and draw the top, this view is called top view completed next we go for the front view so complete the front view using the daughter scale So front view of the point, the corner A is zero. In the corner A is zero. In the corner bottom corner is one. That is why this A dash, one dash. Next, this extreme right corner is B dash, B dash. Major point with the B dash is major with the B dash line. Bottom corner, right side bottom corner is extreme right is two dash. Next, this C C is zero, but it is available. C three. Back side of the front view of the power of but it is available now. That is denoted by dashed line or the dash broken line, discontinuous line shown like this. This is called, called C dash, put in bracket. C 3 dash, is it D dash, D corresponding to 4 dash. Okay, this view is called the front view. The height of the object is 40 mm above the ground plane. The dimension for it. Draw vertical dimension line. Put it to narrow arrow heights, shade the arrow heights, and write the height of the object as 40 mm. 40 shall be written like this. Understand? Upon the top surface, the prism would decide how to go through 25 mm. So release the draft scale. Dimension, draw extension line. Draw a dimension line. Mark the sizes uh, 25 mm, that is a 2.5 cm. This is yes, one side mark on a pole. 25 should be written like this. Okay. Next, if a PP locate for our contest picture plane, right? 30 mm, the nearest corner to PP is 20, 30 mm. 30 mm behind left, if you not here, okay. So at the top you have the distance scale, you have reset your draft scale, first you drop an alignment scale which it is, release when you have the scale, 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 you have the scale,
released an act of interference can rotate in anti clockwise is the first drop in line by which it is then rotate that in clockwise the scale will be portion like this is perfect horizontal perfect vertical arc with 30 mm so if the third mm in your horizontal line drop anaga is called p going to be pp called as pitch plane line in the line in the line so mark as pp 30 mm the next corner is 30 mm behind the pp the dimension put it over put in the two narrow arrays both ends of the line mark it as right as 30 center of the line left side of the line okay parallel as the line parallel don't scribble right and left as legibly this is called the fisher plane line so next we going to locate the station point one for the top view the top you going to the station point only yes how much distance is okay So station point to the left, right side of that, the nearest corner is A is located. Station point to the right side, now this is the direction of right side. Right side of that, the nearest corner A is located. Okay, as per the question uh, data. So twenty five mm mark on the. In the A point, this is a A point project R line. In the other left side, now this corner is left side of mark on the right side. The center station point to the right side of twenty five mm, the nearest corner will be available. That you have to understand. The A corner project are like the left side of our project. As per the question, left side of our project, the station point is right side. The nearest corner A will be obtained. That you have to understand, okay? So you see the draft scale is being carried along. It is a CP line. It is perpendicular to PP. You know the draft is like that. Only that I use the free and scale. So this is this line. This vertical line is called CP. CP stands for central plane. Central plane is the station point. Over on. So central plane is the station point. Over on. Your distance is 70 mm in front. Um, the 70 mm distance mark. Put up. Over on. 70 mm is 7 centimeter. இங்க ஒரு ஆர்சென்டர் லைன் டிரா பண்ணுங்க இந்த லைன் தான் இந்த லைன் இதுல தான் ஸ்டேஷன் பாயிண்ட் வர போகுது ஆன் இன்டர்செக்ஷன் வித் சென்ட்ரல் பிளேன் இந்த ஹாரிசன்டல் லைன் சவுண்ட் எம்எம் லைனோ சிபிஏ எங்க இன்டர்செக்ட் ஆகுது பாருங்க சிபி சென்ட்ரல் பிளேன் அந்த பாயிண்ட்ல இஸ் மார்க்ட் அஸ் எஸ் இது எஸ் இன்றது ஸ்டேஷன் பாயிண்ட் ஃபார் தி டாப் வியூ இது டாப் வியூ நெக்ஸ்ட் 40 எம்எம் அபோ தி ஜிபி So 70 mm mark on the mark on the corner. 70 mm is seven uh, centimeter from PP line there. In front of PP, that is in the distance now. You have to answer the line drop on the point as to locate the station point. In the line of CP, CP line this is applied. This right angle intersect on the corner. This mark does a yes for the station point for the top view. Yes. But friend, we want an station point mark on the corner. Ah, your distance is 50 mm above the GP. 50 mm above the GP. Right? This is GP line. You get the 50 mm. This is a 5 centimeter. Your line drop on the. In the line, oh. Central plane line. Oh, here we get the set of the parts. CP. This is CP line. Vertical line is CP. It intersects at the here. This point is called marked as this point is marked as yes dash. Okay. Let us with the dash and the front view points. Now, this is front view. Come down as station point. This we are splitting one for the top view, one for the front view. So, for the other distance, we mark one. Let us let us dimension this. That M M behind the P P nearest corner A is located. And the interdistance on the fifty seventy mm in front of GP. Let us dimension this. Dimensioning, marking the size or the length of the line is important. That carries marks. So don't neglect in front of PP. 
is 70 mm. Put it down arrow, shared arrow, it's right just 70. Above the GP, this distance is marked as 50. Angle 60 degree mark below. Let us dimension this. Draw horizontal line. Mark an angle of 60 degree. 60, put it to an arrow, arrow, shade the arrow, it's right, that's 60 like this, okay. So next is to complete the final positions called as perspective position worry borrow. So join the mark with corners. Top corners are marked as A, B, C, D. Base corners are marked as same points, 1, 2, 3 and 4, okay. So join A with the station point called as S. Top equal to the station point, yes. Join for the using 2H pencil. Join A and S. Join B point, B point with S. Join C and S. By using draft, since you are drawing using a drawing sheet, on the drawing sheet, these lines can be easily drawn. We are drawing approximately and they draw bigger in size, very size lower in a sheet lower in the current hour. Here it is a bigger approximately. I am drawing on the marker board. Okay, so next base the top surface of first complete point. Join the top view points, the top view points of the front view. Is the front view a dash. This point is a dash, b dash, c dash, d dash. With s dash for the joint point. Join a dash and s dash. Join B dash and S dash. Join C dash and S dash. So top view corners will complete first. You should have prism nulle, prism cube nulle, top surface of first complete for So the point of intersection of this line is joining A and S. You can pitch up in a cut out the partner. It's marked as A suffix 1. A O S so joined by the line. Okay, it's joined by using 2 H pencil of your call there. In the right picture print is cut said here. That point is marked as A suffix 1. Next, in the point B suffix 1, this will be C suffix 1, this will be D suffix 1. Understand? So A suffix 1 can also be called as 1 suffix 1. For the 1 no is a point. The base corners are marked as 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. So for 1 no, yes, in giant line, angle picture print cut as a cut said here. A is a suffix 1, also called as 1 suffix 1. For base corners. B suffix 1 is also called as 2 suffix 1. C suffix 1 is also called as 3 suffix 1. D suffix 1 is also called as 4 suffix 1. All letters are the same. Or the letters are the same. The final diagram is the same. That carries marks. Okay. You need not to write all the letters. For the points, it may be confusing for you. But it is the concept is the same. Okay. From A suffix 1, draw a vertical projector. This is about point A of the locate panapuro. A is a locate panapuro, other A service around the vertical line drop and use it to explain sim. In the A patina point on the younger yes dash A dash line, correct our line, cut down the panel, it cuts it here. Is a yes of it, A dash A dash O, yes dash line, young intersect out there. It intersects at here. That point is shall be marked as A. In the point, then A. Next, the same process is repeated for all other points. Next, B suffix on the vertical project are drop on the using 2H pencil where it intersects with the line joining S dash and B dash. This is a point. This to be marked as The point, this point is marked as B. Next, from C suffix 1, C suffix 1 in the line, the point now, draw a vertical projector where it intersects 
with c dash and s dash. That point shall be marked as point called as c. This is c. Next d point. From d surface one, draw a vertical projectile using two edge planes where it intersects with line joining s dash and c dash. S dash and D dash, D line. We are discussing about the D point. This point shall be marked as D. This is a C. Okay. So, join all those A, B, C, D points using free and the scale and the HB pencil appears to be done. The final answer is join A and B. Join with the C. D and C join for the Join with the D. Join the DA. Let's start. The top surface is complete. Next we go for base corners. Base points rotate. Base points rotate. So same process is repeated. One suffix on the line. Line joining one and the yes. Sir. In the A suffix one is also called as one suffix one. Try a vertical projectile using two H pencil where it intersects with one and one and one dash and the S dash. So the base card is not joint panel. You have to join this, join one and the S dash. Using two H pencil. Join the two dash and the Yes dash. Join three dash with yes dash. Join four dash and yes dash. Okay. From one suffix one draw a vertical project R. A yes, suffix one is also called as one suffix one, where it intersects with one dash and yes dash. That point shall be marked as base corner. One of the base corners will be marked as one. Okay. Next, from D suffix one is also called as two suffix one. Try vertical project or extend that line. Already worked here for the the line extend for the where it intersects with. This point shall be marked as one. One. Two dash show, yes dash connect out the line, the line, the line and you intersect out there, it, it cuts it here. This point shall be marked as a two. Understand? Next is three. Three suffix one. It's also called as a C suffix one. Dry vertical project where it intersects with yes dash and three dash. This point should be marked as point equal to three. The point is three. Next, we draw a vertical projectile from uh, four suffix one. This line where it intersects with the line joining yes dash and four dash is marked as four. So base card is a joint blocker. Using free hand scale, arbitrary scale, join 1, 2, 3, 4. Continuous line. Okay. See, for vertical edge, a joint blocker. In the path, there is a point of station point. In the path, A1 theory. A1 is joined to vertical edge marked as A suffix A and point 1. Join A and point 1 by HP pencil appears to be dark. A1. B1 is not the power of the national power of the theory. So B2. B2 is to be joined by. This point called B. 
dash joint is you have to join it by dash line that you have to understand okay what about the d4 d4 is the extreme left edge in the direction power up in the session point of power up d4 is the area otherwise it should be joined by continuous line using hp pencil is object line okay so this completes the final projections is the square the top surface is seems as a square base of square the but she is appears like this okay when you draw it as a dry sheet it will be very clear here i am trying to approximate a diagram using the marker board and the draft scale sheet la varidha la correct answer you can get it accurately okay so using a perspective projection you can gain marks compared to isometric projection you just perspective projection is easy to understand So this is the point of session point. It is session point. Inge the power po base a corners one two three four mark pane po. Adar avan the three four edge avan the three ayad. It is indicated by dashed line. Ita ne edge. Maranjir pane edge three four avan the three ayad. The point line session point line power po one four three ayam base corn base edge one four. And the one four da in the one four. Okay. Is it two three hidden edge three two three or hidden edge da one two two three three four hidden edge shown by dash line the base the base part of the square prism okay so draw it in a variety of ways the correct one is shape or here I am drawing to approximate uh, diagram using the marker board and draft scale when you draw it on a sheet you can get a correct answer okay follow the procedure gain good marks in university examinations not very valuable thank you.